Hey, you. The old man is waiting for you upstairs. This entrance to the building is off limits. You have to use the stairs. The old man's waiting. So, it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. Good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See? I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? I agree with all city improvement plans that have the citizens' well-being in mind. Glad to know you approve. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? The enhancements allow me to excel in fulfilling my duty. Not only your actions, but your words confirm that you're an exemplary police officer. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems, and it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? It helps me with perspective but it also brings out things buried. That's part of the recovery process. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? My partner has been severely wounded and is being treated at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Take care of yourself. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. What was that? Robocop. Hey Murphy, are you done with the old man's tea party? Remember to get back in touch with your informer. 
See if he has any info that can get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there. OCP wants to bring back glass and steel. Eh, go ahead. Just not where we live. so cold. Luckily, the previous owner didn't need this jacket anymore. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening? Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. Has working with the police not made you change your ways? I need to keep up appearances. Otherwise, I wouldn't be much use as an informer, now would I? Now, nah, tell me, what's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So... Your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gale. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy. But there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <laughs> That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Yeah, it'll solve all my problems. Let's go! What are you looking for? So there's this movie about a guy with a gun, and there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title has some biblical reference in it. You lack vital information on the subject. Okay, let's start searching. Remember, the title has something to do with the Bible. Saints, uh, cosmos. Let's start by checking the thriller and drama sections. Should we ask the owner? <laughs> Forget him. He has no idea about movies. He thinks that Salamanca deserved the golden piston for the best picture. I heard that, and it did. Garden of Earthly Delights. Oh man, great movie. Very elegant. Panned by the critics, though. But the director is a badass. He personally showed up to one of those ceremonies to accept the award for the worst movie of the year. We do not need to bow to outside pressure. Easier said than done, my man. It takes courage to not give in to the pressure. Oh yeah, it does. But hey, if that director can resist it, then why the hell can't I, right? But let's get back to it, because that's not our tape. Kind Shepherd? Love that one. You know that movie could have never happened. 
The director threw out the script after reading a couple of pages. Thankfully, his wife picked it out of the trash, and after reading it, she forced her husband to give it another look. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do we? I'm not so sure about that. There is nothing that you cannot come back from. Spoken like a true good shepherd. Anyway, I don't want to spoil the mood, but that's not the tape we're looking for. Nothing in thriller or drama. Okay, how about you check in the sci-fi and action section? I'll have a look at horror. Eve's flower. Beautiful depiction of violence in that one. Do you think violence can be beautiful? It's just shown with a different sensibility to what we're used to. Maybe because the guy's European. You know how they are. It's different. It's cool is all I'm saying. Recognizing beauty in something ugly is a unique feature. <sighs> Doesn't pay the bills though. Then again, I don't have bills to pay anyway. You know movies, there is value in that. Yep, there's nothing better than a good movie. But, we're still missing our tape. Celestial Decay. Classic. Still waiting for a sequel, but the guy who did that one has never made a part two in his career. But he said that if he ever did, he'd do a sequel to that one. Uh, how do you feel about that? Sequels, remakes, comic book adaptations, etc. They tend to become imitations of themselves. Hard to argue with that. There's been a lot of stinkers. Anyway... <laughs> Risking to sound like a broken record, that's not the tape we're looking for. Hey, I think I found it. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me, Sire, but here it is. <sighs> Isn't that the tape we're looking for? Uh, tape? What? What tape? You like movies? Do you want to shoot an action movie? I, I think I'll wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights! Camera, action! Crap! Crap! I need a hand over here! Do you need assistance? Finally! First, I hear a bunch of movie puns, and then everyone starts shooting. It all happens so fast. Where is Pickles? He ran out the back door. Where will I find him? I don't know. But, uh, homeless or not, you still have to give an address to get a membership card. Try the computer. Maybe you'll find something there. gonna pay for all this.
You're all right. Talk. Ah, uh, I overheard some torchhead saying that they were running away from the cops and went through that video store. They had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops taking it, so they hid it in one of the VHS cases. I misheard the title, so I needed help. That is not the kind of help I was willing to provide. Come on, give me a break. I, I fucked up, I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours, it takes courage. Sorry to disappoint you, Dad. But I'm lacking in that department. There's just one thing that I need right now. Which is? All I need right now is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. Are you asking a police officer to leave you with money from nuke distribution? I know you're a police officer first, but can't you be a friend this one fucking time? I will leave the money with you if you spend it wisely. Uh, that's cold-blooded, man. But... thanks anyway. You're my savior, Tin Man. But what do I do with the money that I'm not supposed to spend on drugs? Like... what's the point? Greetings, citizen. Ah, the best cop in the hood is back. How can I be of service? I am here in regards to a fugitive. Oh, damn. What is wrong with this thing? I need to get that car down, or God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? It's new, and I don't know where I put the manual. Stand back. Go on, then. Let's see how it's done. I thought you knew how to bring that car down. Can't be that hard. It doesn't start. Pop the hood. So, do you know what the problem is? The coil has been disconnected. That would explain the car. Spark plugs are not the main culprit. There is no power. I detected an electric current inside the cooling tank. I recommend grounding it to fix the problem, but I am sure that you knew about that already. What? I mean, I would never miss such a thing. Battery is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing checked off then. I'm guessing it's an easy fix. It started. We're on the money. Well done, Robocop. You are one serious Swiss Army man. I am best at catching criminals. I should get back to it. You said earlier you were looking for someone. A biker. Have you repaired any motorcycles recently? As a matter of fact, I did. This big, chunky guy showed up. Bald head, big ears, and spiky beard. Wasn't really warm and cuddly, but he paid cash in advance. So why would I refuse? Do you know the whereabouts of this individual? I don't, but he asked me if I do paint jobs too. Then showed me a ripped out page that had a tattoo design on it. He asked me to spray a mean-looking bird onto his gas tank. What was the design you sprayed onto his motorcycle? It was some sort of bird, but I'm, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a botanist, but it had a bald head. Thank you for the information. Proceeding to the tattoo parlor.
full metal armor and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. I am not here for that. A tattoo, then. It'll really bring out that jawline. My body wears enough scars. Believe me, you can never have enough of these puppies. Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker called Spike. I heard he was your customer. I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street vultures? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. Do you? You still here? I... I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. Uh, I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to join them. Ah, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Uh, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper. I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Ugh. I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. No joy with the broadcast! Fucking OCP's good for nothing, piece of shit. Be quiet, you moron! Yes, we'll get working in no time, Mr. Wendell. Sir. Yes, we won't screw it up. He's using you, just like he used us. He hired us to kill to deliver. That's why we did to get we were old. Ah! Oh. Talk about a sore loser. You had your chance and you blew it. Now it's the Torchance turn. Ugh. Deal with it, biker bitch! Shit! We've got company! You weren't invited! Let's crush this tin can! Yourself. <sighs> you needed us to extract brains from corpses. Why brains? You would never say. Wendell keeps his cards close to his chest. Where is it? When? Now? I'd better be in front of the screen.
Operator, request an ambulance. One unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss. Operator, Wendell's trail leads to the outskirts west of town, continuing pursuit. First they can't even connect a few fucking cables, and now they don't even answer. Shh. It's the new guy. He's waiting for some bigwig to show up. He's planning to do some psycho presentation. And who is the bigwig? That's what I want to find out. Mr. W, we still have no contact with the Funhouse. I'm on the phone. We're ready. I understand, but please tell him that this is not a meeting that can be postponed. I see. So, they ain't coming, right? Fucking suits! Keep your anger to yourself, or I'll share mine with you. Rambo? Who's there? Show yourself! You'd better not. As you wish, creep. You are under arrest. Come quietly. Do you really believe that's what's gonna happen? Take care of him, boys. I'll meet you on the roof. What's up, metal freak? Forget where you left your car? You better go, Miss Ortiz. It seems there will be trouble.
Is that you? Come to us. Yeah, Dad, we're waiting for you! It's not, not your, your dad, dad kid. kid. It's, it's not, not even a police, police officer. officer. I don't, I don't know, know what, what it is anymore. anymore. Police, police officer, officer killed, killed in the line, line of duty were used, used to create some kind of a metal, metal monster. monster. I need I to bury it to move forward with my life. Do you have a funeral suit that would fit that empty shell? Okay. It thinks itself as you. A world class husband. A father. A cop. Did you, Did you hear? hear? It's, it's true. true. You're, you're not, not one of us anymore. anymore. You're, you're not, not human. And you're, and you're not, not a real cop. You're, you're just, just the, the rotting, rotting remains, remains of Alex Murphy. You're, you're something, something that, that should, should never have been. been. Something, something that should not exist. exist. We, have we have to fix you. you. We, we have, have to, to erase, erase. And we, and we will. will. Just, Just come, come to us. us. Come to the rooftop. We're waiting. It's not one of us. It doesn't even have a bed. It's the craft that has stuck to our shoe. A cuckoo egg planted by OCP. We need to clear our station of this shit. We must smash that thing. Fire at will.
You're not one of us. You feel that too, don't you? You're back. There's coffee in the kitchen. Do you like it? The mug. Dad, Dad can you can fix, you the, fix camera? the camera? I think, I think something's, something's broken. broken. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. Do you really have to go? You look so sexy in that uniform. Why won't you stay a little longer? Why are you here? Do you not love your family? No attachments. No leverage. This is a gift. Don't take him away from me! Everyone wants to be back home with their families. Be back home. Welcome, Welcome Chopper. Let's, Let's take, take a, stroll a stroll through your... Oh. Do you think you can just go back? Go on with your life like nothing happened? This is a one-family house, built by ZM Industries. It's for sale because the head of the family to which it belonged was shot in the head. Your family has forgotten. Why do you want to remember them? You attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Have you thought it over? Why not make me an offer? Why carry this burden? What is your sacrifice worth? Holding on to them makes you weak. Destroy them. Destroy them before they destroy you. Alex Murphy, the one and the only. I'm here because you have something that belongs to me. You have my badge. Lewis gave it to me. Lewis is hurt because of you. Because you keep insisting that you're something that you're not. You think that you are a fusion of me and this metal armor, but you're not me. Not even a part of me. I'm dead and I want to finally rest, but you won't let me. Your delusions keep tormenting me and my family. You need to let us go. I want my badge back. I have it. So I remember. Remember what? The lie? Lewis knows us. She would not lie. Give it to me. It's mine. But, Lewis, I want it back. This is my badge. Then I'll have to take it back myself. You are, you are strong, strong enough, enough to, take to take him. him. Don't, Don't forget, forget you have, have a partner, partner who's counting, counting on you. you. Take this, this gift. gift. Don't, Don't forget, forget who you, you are. are. Alex, Alex Murphy. Murphy. Get up, Robo. Get up, for God's sake. That's it, Robo. Keep going. Where's the chopper? The cops will be here any- Wendell Antonowski. Haven't you had enough yet? You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Relax. I I'm not your enemy. If I were, you would have already- You have the right to an attorney. I- I wanted to help you. 
release you from the burden of your past life, of your memories. But you, you don't want to lose them, right? Now I get it. Anything you say may be used against you. I can give you back those memories. All of them. We should help each other. We have the same boss! Police! God damn it, you again? People need to see this. Cuff him. He is a cop killer. Hands behind your back! Can you hand me my lighter? It's a family heirloom. I wouldn't want to lose it. You mean this trinket? It'll be safer in the prison depository. You'll pick it up yourself in... I don't know, 150 years? Plenty of time for rehabilitation. Top story. Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Robocop was able to capture Antonowski, as reported by an eyewitness, Channel 9's Samantha Ortiz. Unfortunately, no footage of the event has emerged. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding his status as a human being. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant Robocop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out? Could this day be any better? Geez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. 